Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. Today I've got this note card for you. I'm going to show you how I made this but we'll make a few adaptations along the way in case you want something a little bit different or some more ideas. The card blank I'm using today is hammered white cardstock five by seven inches and I've put a panel on it already which is four and a half by six and a half inches so there's a quarter inch gap all the way around and we're going to start by smushing some green inks on a bit of mixed media paper if you want to know how to make a smusher there's a video linked above and down below or beside wherever the description box is on the place that you're watching So I've got bundled stage here. I always say that. It's bundled sage, not bundled stage. And I've smushed that on. And now I'm going to smush on a bit of Lucky Clover. I'm using three greens because I'm going to die cut some leaves out of this. And I want a bit of variation over the leaves. I'm not drying my layers. I want to, there to be a bit of mixing and mingling of colours. The next colour, the last colour is pine needles. So I'm going to just smush that on in a few places. And before I dry it, I'm going to use a wet paintbrush just to splatter on some of this last bit of ink. And now I'm going to give it a good blast with my hairdryer to get it nice and dry for the next stage. So for the next stage, I'm going to do some heat embossing with gold embossing powder. And I'm gonna give this a going over with my anti-static sock, which is filled with corn flour, just to get rid of any still wet ink or greasy fingerprints or static. For my embossing today, I'm going to do some stenciling. So I've got this it looks like cracks, I suppose, um, or ice or something, I don't know, but it's just a nice abstract pattern. So I'm going to stencil using Versamark ink. And when I do this with stencils rather than stamps, I like to use a bit of reinker and my dedicated embossing dauber. And actually, I'm going to put this on my grip mat because it will just help keep everything still. So I'll stick my bit of mixed media down and then add my stencil on top. So it shouldn't wiggle around too much. So I'm just gonna go over the cracks. It doesn't really matter if I get a bit of embossing ink under the stenciling, it's an abstract pattern. So, it will just add to that. I need to give that a good wash before I put it away. So now I'm gonna dip that in my gold embossing powder. Knock off the excess. That looks good. And then we'll heat it. Next, I'm going to die cut these leaves out of this. They're different to the ones I used on here. I just wanted to show you what it looked like with some different leaves. So with these leaves, I didn't do anything else to them before I stuck them onto my white card, but I think with these, I'm just going to take a little bit of the pine needles and go around the edges to give them a bit of definition. I don't want to go in too heavy, so I'm going to start off the leaf and come in from the side to just add a bit more colour on the edges. I'm not sure if that's made an appreciable difference or not, but I've done it now. So with these three circles on here, I stuck my leaves onto some white hammered cardstock and then used 
circle dies to cut them out. I'm going to do that with the two smaller leaves, but I'm going to do something different with the bigger leaf this time. So I'm just going to dip my leaf in tacky glue and put it on my white cardstock. Same with the little one here. Press them down with a bit of deli paper to keep them clean. And then I've got my two circles and I'm going to pop them there so I get the whole of the leaf here. Well, that's not going to be cut off, but it's going to be cut off at the stem. This one is going to fit in the whole circle and that's fine. I'm going to take those down to keep them in place, then run them through my mini Gemini. So there we have our two leafy circles like those there, same method used. But for my large circle, I'm going to do something slightly different. I've cut a large stitched circle out of hammered white cardstock and I'm going to give it a leafy texture, an embossed leafy texture by running it through my cuttle bug in this embossing folder. So I shall do that and be back in a tick. So there we have our leafy embossed circle. I'm going to stick this on top, but I don't think I'm going to trim it off. I'm going to let the whole leaf or ferny frond go over the whole of the circle and stick out either end. And again, I'm going to just pop it in some tacky glue and stick it on my circle and press it down get it to glue nicely. So now I'm going to add my circles to my card. This is my main focal point circle so I'm going to pop it up on craft foam. So it's got prominence and depth but before I stick it down I was thinking of maybe running a very thin strip of gold about a third of the way in here to here just on the card panel, just to give my circle something to sit on. So this is just an adaptation of the design idea. So I want to cut that to be exactly the right length to sit on this panel here. To give it a nice beveled edge, so it looks like it's been die cut at the bottom, I'm just gonna give it a little going over with the embossing tool and that bevels that edge. So now I can add this using my T-square ruler roughly a third of the way in. Just butt that up there, make sure it's straight. Looks about right. Get the deli paper again, just press that down and then we can add my main focal point and then I'm going to do the middle size leaf but I'm going to pop that on another bit of card so this is a double layer and that just gives this one a bit more depth and I'm going to glue this down here this time, just tuck it under, let a bit of that gold peek out and then this one I'm not going to pop this up on anything so this one is going to go straight onto the card so we've got a bit of hierarchy of, of depth here, we've got this one on craft foam, this one on uh, an extra circle and then this one that's not on anything at all. So that one can go there. So for my sentiment, I have stamped out a little something in black ink on the hammered cardstock. And I'm gonna cut it out with this stitch rectangle die. But the stitch rectangle die is a bit short. So I'm going to do a bit of partial die cutting to elongate my rectangle. So I want a little bit of tacky tape. I'm going to get that lined up so it's right with the start of the sentiment. 
and I'm going to pop that in my mini Gemini folder but it's only gonna go down to here so it won't cut this end it'll only cut up to where the folder finishes So if I take that off, you can see it's only cut down as far as the M. Now what I can do is I can line this up again. I can lock the die into the little teeth that the stitching has cut so it's at the right level. Get my tape, which has managed to roll itself up into an unhelpful mess. Get that in the right place. Put that down and do some partial die cutting again so I want this to go about as far as the M again because that's as far as it cut last time so we're cutting from the other direction now and that has made my rectangle the right length for my sentiment so pop some glue on this and I'm going to get my T-square ruler and I'm going to add this so it is hanging off slightly off that big circle. And with this one, I added some mini enamel dots just on my focal piece here in green. But on this one, I think I'm going to continue with the gold and add three, if I can get it to come out properly. That's not really very circular, that one, but it'll have to do. I'll give the card a tap. That'll do, looks more like an Easter egg than a circle, but never mind. And there we are two cards made with more or less the same technique and design idea one is very very clean and simple and the other one is clean and simple it's got a bit more bling on it which makes it have a bit more pizzazz i think so do let me know which one you lean towards are you very clean and simple or just clean and simple with a bit of bling i hope you found this video helpful and maybe it's given you some ideas of something you could do with your leaf dies and your circle dies embossing folders etc if it has please do leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more right then thanks for watching bye for now